Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Prost. I'm the Gnarly Gnome. Um, this is a, a special one. This is a this is very special in a couple different ways. So this is the first Prost episode that I'm doing this year that takes a beer out of uh, Higher Gravity's beer vent calendar. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there it is. It's, it's, it's awesome. So it's 25 different beers. You open one up every single day, throw it in your fridge, get it cold, drink it. It's a, it's a Christmas gift that just keeps giving all month long. It's amazing. And they do all these really fun collaborations and exclusive beers, and it's, it's absolutely incredible. Uh, we're two days in as of today, I guess, depending on when you're watching us. But um, it, today's beer is something really special. It's a collaboration, uh, an exclusive beer. Uh, the guys at Higher Gravity got together to make something that... Uh, I can't wait to see all of you talking about. <laughs> it's in a brown paper bag for a reason, guys. <laughs> this is High G Malt Liquor from West Side Brewing. Now, if, uh, if you don't know about malt liquor, let me take you on a journey. Malt liquor is can be a lager, it can be an ale, it doesn't matter. It's usually kind of uh, lighter in color, usually kind of a golden, uh, your, your, your standard beer color. Um, it's usually really thin in body. They, they make a beer and they add some kind of adjuncted sugar in there to boost it up in ABV. Uh, it can be corn, it can be rice, it can even just be bags of white sugar dumped in to ferment more and make more alcohol. So it's just a high alcohol, light drinking beer. Um, they're usually not very good, but I'm excited to see what Westside did with it because uh, you're, you should probably drink this out of a can uh, because Westside is incredible at brewing things true to style. And this is one of those really strange styles that um, it doesn't, doesn't really have a whole lot of guidelines to go with it. I don't think that malt liquor is recognized by the BJCP, which is the Beer Judge Certification Program. Uh, it's the kind of the style guidelines that most people go by. I don't even think it's a style in there. I could be wrong. Uh, comment below and tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, but the American Homebrewers Association, I believe, does recognize it as a style. Um, I don't know. Let's let's read. Let's figure out what we got going on here. Um, oh Lord. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we'll we'll get to that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do what it tells me to. Um, higher gravity. This is brewed specially for higher gravity. Higher, I haven't even drank it yet. This is brewed specially for higher gravity's annual beer event calendar. This delicious malt liquor was brewed to be twice the ABV of higher gravity's signature Blondale Low G. It's sure to have you wishing you ordered two calendars this year, one can for each hand, and don't forget the duct tape, Eddie. So. Uh, Edward Forty Hands, if anybody has ever played that. This is not a 40. It should be a 40, but it's not. Um, it also, down here at the bottom, I don't, you, you can't see that, but um, next to the uh, Higher Gravity logo, underneath West Side's logo, there is also a little picture of a key, and it says, Shotgun Time. Um, I'm not going to shotgun this, you guys. I'm sorry to disappoint. I actually want to uh, sit here and, and tear it apart and try it for you guys and see what the hell is going on. <laughs> Um, all right. So, like I said, it's light in color. Uh, golden yellow. I mean, it's yellow. It is, it's, it's beer. Um, big, bright white head. It's actually really pretty to look at. Uh, it's always a little disappointing knowing that you guys aren't seeing the same color that I am with these lights coming in from this way. You get like this big burst of color out of this glass. Um, and it is a uh, slightly cloudy, um, just but bright, bright yellow. It's artificial looking, that color. 9.4% uh, ABV, 21 IBUs. All right, let's dive in here and let's, let's see what's going on. Yeah, I mean it... Smells like malt and I 
It doesn't have like that big corn aroma that I was expecting. Um, I don't know if they used um, just white sugar <laughs> to, to boost the ABV or if they went with rice. Because I'm not getting a whole bunch of uh, um, offensive kind of aromas. So I'm trying to warm it up. It's been in the, uh, the cold beer fridge, which keeps things down at like 37 degrees, which is a little colder than I like to be able to get all the aroma. It's probably right where this needs to be at to, uh, to drink it, though. It doesn't smell great, but it doesn't smell bad. It just it smells like beer-ass beer. Okay, yeah, it's not bad. Um, it's definitely way higher ABV than it needs to be, um, but it's still kind of refreshing. It has a little more body than I think the style actually should have. Um, it's not as, not that it's not drinkable, it's super drinkable, but it's not as crisp and like um, uh, lager-like as it, uh, as, as I like my malt liquors to be. <laughs> this is absurd, you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. I, um, I would I would drink this with a meal with some some food that uh, maybe can help kind of tame that um, that alcohol back a little bit. Maybe with something spicy, some Mexican food or um, some wings. This, this might go good with wings. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a malt liquor, guys. Um, if you're opening your calendars tonight, I'm hoping I didn't spoil this for you. Uh, it's it's pretty freaking incredible, though. I love it. Um, so far, it has been an absolute home run, the calendar. Um, I'll do a rundown um, probably Saturday morning uh, to kind of catch you up on what's been done for the week, and then every Saturday for the rest of the month, I'll do some kind of a, a excuse me, a little recap, um, on Instagram. So if you don't have a beer event calendar, I'm sorry, because I'm going to be talking about it a lot because of stuff like this. It's fantastic. Prost.